So in this problem, we're asked to differentiate the function y equals the square root of x times x minus 8. So the first thing we should do is just write out our function. So the square root of x times x minus 8. And then so I'm going to multiply these together so we can solve using the power rule. So what we got to do is y equals, and then we multiply the square root of x times x. And so when we do that, the square root of x times x, we can rewrite the square root of x as it's the same thing as x to the 1 half. Then we're multiplying it by x. So when you multiply things at the same base, you can add their exponents. So x is basically the same thing as x to the 1, but you just don't see it. So what we do is we add these. So this is equal to x to the 3 over 2, because 1 half plus 1 is 3 over 2. So I'm going to write this up here as x to the 3 over 2. And so next what we want to do is uh, multiply the square root of x times uh, minus 8. So let's minus, and then we're multiplying the square root of x times 8. So I'm going to rewrite, again, the square root of x as x to the 1 half, because they're the same thing. And then so 8 times x to the 1 half is just 8x to the 1 half. So write that here, 8x to the 1 half. So now our new function is x to the 3 over 2 minus 8x to the 1 half. And so now we can just find the derivative of this using the power rule. So y prime, which is the derivative, that's a bad thing, let me, here we go. y prime is equal to the derivative with respect to x of x to the 3 over 2 minus 8 times the derivative with respect to x of x to the 1 half. So now we can just solve. So what is the derivative of x to the 3 over 2? So if you have x raised to the n, what you can do is the derivative of it is equal to n times x raised to the n minus 1. So if we want to do that here, x to the 3 over 2, we can rewrite it as, well, we put the n, so n is 3 over 2, so we rewrite the n, 3 over 2 times x, and then we subtract 1 from 3 over 2, and that's going to be our new exponent. So 3 over 2 minus 1 is 1 half. So that's our derivative. So equals 3 over 2 times x to the 1 half. And then, so now we need to find the derivative of x to the 1 half and multiply by 8. So x to the 1 half, we do the same thing. So x to the 1 half, so n is 1 half, n is equal to 1 half, so we move the 1 half out front, 1 half times x, then we subtract 1 from 1 half, and that's going to be our new exponent, or 1 half from, 1 half minus 1, so 1 half minus 1 is minus 1 half, so this is the derivative of this, and then we got to multiply it by 8, because 8 is still there, so if we go ahead and do that, what we do is just multiply 1 half times 8, and that's going to be our new coefficient, so 8 times 1 half is 4. So this is 4x to the minus 1 half. So let's rewrite that here, 4x to the minus 1 half. And so this is going to be the answer to this question. So the derivative of this function is 3 over 2 times x to the 1 half minus 4 times x to the minus 1 half.